Hi guys, welcome back. Phase one complete. On to phase two. You know what that means. I had to bring out the post hole digger. It's going to come in handy. You know, it was left by upper management within the last year or so. It's just been here in the garage. Okay, what's next? I got my string. I marked where the post should go. Looks good. You know what I thought about doing? I was going to level the post according to the walkway here. Problem is... It narrows at a certain spot and widens at a certain spot. So that means my post and the fence, if it gets done, would have just looked sloppy. It would have been narrow in certain spots, wide in other spots. Can't have that. So I always trust the string and trust the math behind it. And again, just to clarify, go by the string. If you do the three, four, five method, it's no good measuring from the sidewalk to the house and then coming up with some type of point to start the holes. Because again, your walkway might not be exactly leveled. It might narrow toward the end or widen toward the beginning when you compare it to one side or the other. So the string, the three, four, five string method is the best way. Enough talking, right? Okay, let's get to work. Time to dig some holes. For future reference, it'll help if you wet the ground the day before you start the project. Make things a lot easier for you. So I took a piece of flooring and stuck it in the middle of the hole. It's going to act as a temporary post. Then I took a tape measure and measured eight feet. As you can see, the next post should be there. This is what you got to do when you're doing it yourself. So there's nothing wrong with crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Well, considering this is my first time, you guys got to give me a little slack on this one, okay? Anyway, I discovered a problem. I have to make this hole bigger. If I put a post in that hole, I won't be able to surround it with concrete. And it might not stand the ground like it should. So, of course, I have to figure where the actual string meets. And then that's where I'll start the 345 method. Because once you move it, you have to do the process all over again. And this hole might not be big enough. So I might have to dig a little more to make this work. But I'll get it done. Don't get me wrong, the hole is big enough. But I have to make sure that concrete can surround the post. That hole will be fine. Don't focus on that other hole. This hole should be fine. I don't know how much concrete I'm going to need because I made them too big. But again, I need the post centered so I can surround it with concrete and enough concrete. They're deep. That's the old hole. Let's see what's going on here. A couple more holes. I'll stop here. That should work. This is looking good. Might have to make a minor adjustment here. And you see what I've been using is coming in handy. I'm doing it, guys. Considering I bought four by four by eight posts, okay? Two feet go on the ground, six feet of that post will be above ground. Are you following me? So why not take an angle square and measure two feet? If you guys don't have one of these, you need to go out and get one. Trust me. Anyway, I measured two feet, made a mark with the Sharpie, then used the angle square to make a straight line on all four sides of the post. This is really going to help me out down the stretch. So if you don't do what I just did, you might be too far up or too far down in the ground. So now you know I got a little ways to go. I know a lot of you don't really need to do all this. I do, and some of the folks who are watching, this might come in handy, so be patient. But as you can see, what I was saying made a lot of sense. So now I know the 4x4 
is in the ground deep enough, as you can see. So it all makes sense. It was all for a purpose. It's shaping up. How many of us have bought these and didn't really need them? You just saw them, they were cheap, and you thought, well, maybe one day I could use it for something. Well, today's the day. It's flatter. Should work better for me. Again, I'm just going to ensure that the posts are in the ground two feet. Might have to dig a little more. I might have to add dirt, but at least I know there'll be two feet in the ground and six feet above ground. What do we have here? A post in the ground. No concrete, though. But it's being held up by two two by fours, leveled by this tool. If you plan on doing this project, you will need that. Trust me. It's looking good. This is what you want to see. You know what? I might pull this thing off. And it's at the line, centered. Oh, yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to get through this together. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.